Hey everybody, I'm frequently asked, how do you do an installation of Instant Connect from scratch, all the way from setting up the uh, VMware uh, system on the hard drives? So today we're going to do that. Now I went out and grabbed some servers out of our scrap bin, bumped up the memory. Uh, I have pre-configured the CIMC addresses, so I did cheat a little bit. I got a keyboard and monitor and use those to plug in and set the CIMC addresses initially. Uh, then I've got a crossover cable to plug into my, my laptop. You may use uh, a switch and then uh, some straight cables or whatever works for you. And of course I've downloaded the OEM version of the Cisco EXSI installer files. I've got 5.5 and 6.0 and we'll be using those. So if you look over here in the window, I have actually punched in my CIMC address, and here we go. We're going to launch. We're going to put in the default username and passwords of admin and admin, all lowercase. Please change the default passwords in your network when you actually put this into production. All right, here we go. We're launching the CIMC uh, console. And you may find that you have to uh, adjust some of your Java settings, some of your security settings in the Java section of the Windows control panel to allow things like the KVM console to work properly. So let's go up here and launch the KVM console. And this is actually going to look just like the keyboard monitor I have plugged in right here beside me. Actually, sometimes the virtual responds a little bit faster. So we're going to uh, click on uh, continue because we want to continue. And then we're going to allow this to run. And it's going to ask us many times over. So we're going to run once again. Yes, it's OK. And here we go. Yes, I went in and actually added the, the addresses of the servers to the trusted file in my uh, Java 32-bit application under the control panel. So here we go. They're listed as safe sites. And once again, I accept the risk and want to run the application. Here we go. We're finally connecting to the KVM server. And you'll see we have a couple tabs there, KVM and VM. VM is where we go to actually mount the virtual media. So we're going to go over here and do that. And I'm going to make a, a mount point and map out uh, by adding an image my file that I saved, my EXSI 5.5 installer ISO file. I say yes, we're going to use that one. We're going to click on the map button. And now we are mapped and ready to go. Now we need to reboot. And the easiest way to do that is click KVM, Macros, and use the Control-Alt-Delete Macro. Okay, now you're going to see how I've really shortened the, uh, the video here. The actual install time for this was 31 minutes, by the way, from start to finish. Here's that Cisco boot screen where you press F8 to load the CIMC utility if you hadn't already done it. And there are my drives and my RAID array, always a good sign. Everything's coming up normally and matching what's on the monitor. And now I'm going to see the virtual um, device actually get mounted through the network. We'll see the ISO file mounted as though it were a CD in the drive of the server. So here we go, it'll auto boot or we can, uh, we can click on it. I'll just make the screen bigger. It's interesting, the screen shrinks down every time you lose the video sync changes. And here we go, we're loading the ESXi installer. And yes, I did shorten this process by about seven minutes. So there's the familiar gray and yellow screen. Now it's gonna prompt us for a few questions here. First is, uh, are we sure everything's compatible? And then do we accept the license agreement? And now we're going to scan. It may take a few moments, and uh, indeed it did. And now here's my hard disk, and this is it sees the RAID array, so we're going to click Enter, and we're going to say it's okay to install on that RAID array. We'll use the U.S. keyboard. We'll put in our root.
root password for the VMware account. Passwords match, click enter. Once again, scanning, once again, shortened. Yeah, it really did take a long time. Okay, confirm install. Yes, we're going to press F11 to confirm the install. Now, my system sat at 20% for a really long time. So once again, I shortened this up. And here we go. Press enter to reboot. Here's another one of those three, boot, three minute reboot cycles. Away we go. Make the screen big. I think it just wants you to know you're in the uh, CIMC constantly. All right, here we go. Once again, a shortened sequence from boot through loading over here to initializing. And here's our screen. Now we're going to customize the system. We're going to go into uh, F2 because remember, we're not really connected to the network yet. We haven't put in the address on the data side, only the ILO side. So let's go in here and set up our management network. Configure management network. Click on that. Network adapter, we're using VNIC zero. But let's display the list, because if you had a cable plugged in, you would show one of these as being connected, and then you'd highlight that as your device you want to use. But I'll just leave it at VNIC zero for now. And we won't do a VLAN. We will do an IPv4 configuration, and I always set these up as static because I like to be able to find my devices on the network. So here we go, 255, 255, 255.0, and 10.10.200.1, a nice little lab configuration. We'll press Enter. And now I'm not currently running IPv6, so let's disable that. This will force a full reboot, uh, but that's okay. I can shorten that for us, and I will. Okay, apply changes and reboot host, yes. And now it's going to do restart and progress, which means it's really shortening. It's doing an orderly shutdown, and I've shortened that sequence also. Uh, takes a little bit. Here's another three minute boot sequence. And when we come up, we'll be there. We'll be ready to go. Well, here's our CIMC. Here we are loading. And here's the uh, VMware boot sequence. And I just want to do this to show you that uh, we're all the way through. And if you looked at the time clock at the start and at the finish, you'd see that this took 31 minutes. Hey, thanks for, thanks for watching.